What's up guys? It's me, Michaela. So, um, obviously as you can tell, because I'm not holding the camera, um, this isn't a vlog. I'm actually doing a story time, and you know, I just wanted to switch it up a little. I will be doing vlogs um, this upcoming week, but um, I just thought that I had a story to tell you guys that I mean, I thought was worth it, so I'm going to tell it. So yeah. So actually, this story happened a little while ago. Like, it happened in 2017 or, or like late 2016. But it was still like mostly recent, like in the last year or so. But it was something like I will like never, never forget. So basically, it was like a normal Saturday. I was running errands with my mom. You know, normal stuff like that. And so then she had to stop at Lowe's for something. But, you know, we were just running errands all day, so I was tired. So I was like, okay, I'll just sleep in the car, and I'll lock the doors, it'll be fine. So then she went into Lowe's, and I was asleep, so I don't know, like, how long she was in Lowe's for, but all of a sudden, I was sleeping, and then I heard, like, screaming, and, like, a man screaming, and, like, jumped up, because I was like, oh my gosh, what's going on, what's wrong? And so then I look around, and I'm like, I don't really see anything, why do I hear screaming, why am I so alarmed? And so then I, like, look a little bit, like, you know, trying to keep looking around, and then towards the entrance of Lowe's, I see this guy, like, being held at gunpoint or something, but then people were just walking out of the store with like their carts just looking at it and like not doing anything. So I was like, is this really happening? And so I didn't know what to do. I got so scared because I've never been that close to like a gun or you know, a kind of hostile situation like that before. So I kind of just, you know, um, in the car, your seat, how you can like adjust it to come back, go back or come back up. I literally like, I didn't know if he was going to take hostages or something, so I just, like, took the seat and, like, went all the way back. Because I did not want him to see me. And so, I mean, I just stayed like that until the guy, like, I started praying. And I think my prayers worked. I know my prayers worked. Because, like, as soon as, as, soon as I started praying, the guy just got back in his car and he just, like, drove off. And I was just like, thank you, Jesus. And then the guy being like a cop just looked at everyone like, okay, no one's going to call the police or anything. Like, I would have felt the same way. Like, people were just walking out like it was something normal. It was, it was crazy. But, yeah, that's my little story time. And then I came back, my mom came back to the car and she was just like, I told her what happened. And she was like, wow, well, thank gosh you, you were okay, you were protected. It was just really scary. Like, maybe people weren't calling the police because, I don't know how that altercation even got started so maybe people weren't calling the police because they had seen what had happened before and knew it wasn't that serious i really don't know but like it was a gun so you wouldn't just like go on without your day you'd probably just run to your car and get the heck out of dodge i mean it's it's serious so that was my little story for time for today it was a little short i just felt that i had to share this um Thank gosh I'm okay. Uh, when I look back on it and laugh, but I'm also thankful that I just protected because, I mean, I wasn't I wasn't in Carmel. I was in like Indianapolis, but it wasn't like the hood or anything. But I mean, still, like, if it happened in Carmel, you know, the cops would have been called or something like that. So, yes, thank God I didn't get hurt or injured or was involved in any of it. But I was like right there. I was really close to it. So yeah. That's it for this story time. Um, please like and if you want to subscribe. But I really like the views and the likes. And I think I'm going to start doing this more often because this is a great way for me to show my awesome, vibrant personality. And it's fun for me. So even if I get a few views, like on my first vlog, I was so happy. I got like 27 views in the first day and that was enough for me. So any views, likes, subscribers just give me joy. So thank you and bye.